Happy Monday, campers. Um, I feel like it's been the most hectic morning ever. Um, we've had our camera guys here filming some bits with Ali and I had to help out with that. And then um, just working through like to-do lists and stuff like that. And the house was absolutely full to the brim this morning. Like everyone was here. And now everyone has gone and it is just me and my little Lumi in a very quiet house. So I've lit all of my candles and I've got my cashmere dressing gown on, which is from uh, Fig Leaves. You would have seen it's in my haul, like my real time haul. If you didn't see it, I'll link that down below so that you can um, check it out because I tried it on and everything and I showed you all my other bits. Um, I cooked dinner last night. I made my first bolognese sauce, which was, I'm still like on cloud nine. Everyone that came in the house this morning, I was like, by the way, I made bolognese last night. I hope you appreciate how special this is. <laughs> on cloud nine over that. But um, yeah, I'm, I mean, today I'm having an at-home day, but I'm having a bit of a clear out as well. And I'm having, uh, I'm putting some stuff on Depop and um, bagging some bits up that I have to post. So I thought that we could um, have a little bit of a clear out together and do that for the day. I am gonna get dressed because I need to take some pictures of me wearing these items to go on my Depop. Bit of a chilled uh, Monday today, which is good. I've done some work. I've still got some more work to do, but gonna focus on having the clear out because we had a massive clear out of our understairs cupboard last night. And I, I realized I have so many jackets and coats that I don't wear. So it's time to let them go and also make way for new stuff. So I thought I'd sell some of my coats that I wore last year because I know that loads of people have actually been messaging me being like, are you going to be selling this coat? And that is the plan of action for today. Um, Carrie has gone to my wedding venue because I can't go today because uh, I'm not allowed. And uh, she's going over there just to meet with people. So she's not in the house today. Ali is out filming. Um, I've got yoga tonight and it should, well, I just had such a great time at yoga last week. So I'm really looking forward to it. I found my yoga mat as well from Sweaty Betty. So, <gasps> so exciting. But um, let's get cracking with the day because uh, I could sit here and talk to you for hours, but um, I've got stuff to do. So my diet has massively improved over the last few weeks but it doesn't stop me craving some naughtiness every now and again. Sorry if you can hear all of the dishwasher and washing machine on. I'll see if I can get the uh, recipe for you actually, but these are like gluten-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free, and they taste incredible. So um, if I can get that, I'll give you, I'll give you that. <laughs> this is an immune support. Uh, if you don't know, Carrie's mum does uh, homeopathy, and I've not been to see her for it, I do really want to, um, but this is to help me with my immune system because I keep getting like, I keep getting unwell. I think it's um, stress related, obviously, like working and planning a wedding and stuff like that, it's, it can get a bit too much. I know that lots of people do it, but sometimes it can be a bit stressful. Um, so I'm guessing that this is gonna help me from feeling run down. And uh, that's how I'm gonna start my day today. So it says, take 15 drops a day in water or juice double if symptoms occur. So I'm gonna go and get my water bottle, fill it up and drop some of these in. So I've got my beaker water bottle. These are the ones that are like BPA free. So they're supposed to be a little bit better for you than drinking out of plastic bottles and also better for the environment. And I'm gonna pop some of the immune support stuff into my drink. So 15 drops it said. I've never tasted this so one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eighteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've never tried this before, so I don't know what it's gonna taste like. I'm gonna put this on. Ooh, I can smell it. Okay, so let's give this a go. It's actually quite nice. Like, it's just a bit like flavored water, really. Or like if you were to have like a cold herbal tea. But it's not like, ugh, it's actually, it's fine. It kind of gives like a bit of a taste to water. So see how we get on with this. Can you believe it? That these flowers are still going strong. They just look incredible. Oh, I'm so obsessed with them. Now I need to get a pumpkin. I really want to go pumpkin picking. Someone come pumpkin picking with me. So I am going to get dressed now. Um, even though I'm spending most of the day at home today, I do as much as possible like to get dressed because um, it makes me feel like I'm ready for the day. Well, you can see the toilet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick out something, nothing too fancy, probably like a 
loose top and some leggings or something um but just to get me dressed for the day ahead and then we're going to start popping some stuff on depop which i'm actually excited about i'm excited to like get rid of stuff so this one Sticking to my usual colour palette, I think I'm going to wear this silk top from Joseph, which is like a nude colour, with my leather Joseph leggings, which are still available to buy, so I'll link these down below. And then I'm going to pop on my Clue Swatch. This is the Small Face in Rose Gold, and I think this is, um, I think it's like the oatmeal colour that they call it. I love this colour because it goes with so much of my wardrobe. I've got like this really nice Joseph dress that it goes with. So I'm going to pop this on and wear kind of a neutral colour palette and definitely stick some slippers on my feet. <laughs> The perfume that I'm wearing today is Woman in Gold by Killian and this is kind of, well, you would have heard me talk about this in one of my previous vlogs, it's just super autumnal and it's absolutely beautiful so that's what I'm going to pop on today. And this is the outfit all together, this is the nicest top to just throw on because it's so loose so if I have anything filling for lunch I'm like, it's all nicely hidden under there and um, I'm so happy that these leggings still fit after the overindulgence of the summer. Okay, so I got a bit cold in my office and decided to whack this cashmere, like, it's like a long cardigan, but it can also be like a robe. So I thought that I'd whack this on to keep me warm whilst I get prepared to put everything on Depop. So. So this is the mound of coats that I've cleared out from under the stairs. You can see my slippers in the mirror. <laughs> this one has already sold. This is from Karen Millen and I wore this. Oh my God, it's so soft. Mm. I wore this so much last season. I want to get a different color fur coat this season. So uh, I decided that we could sell this. I've not sold this yet. This is a Abercrombie & Fitch coat i have a barber coat and then these two aviators remember i said in my video that i used to always wear like acne dupes well these are the two acne dupes literally i had this like when i started blogging so um yeah it's time for these to go they've sold then i also have hiding in our massively overstuffed oh my god um airing cupboard oh my god i don't even have the hands hold on I have this huge holdall of stuff as well to put on. So this is a coat, again, from Karen Millen, which I loved. And I've worn it so, so much. And I think I'm going to sell it now. I've got, like, loads of stuff in here. Like this suede, pink suede leather. Jumpers, dresses. Oh, this is my dress that I wore for New Year's Eve last year. And I think it's time to say goodbye. So, that's what I'm going to do for the moment. I'm going to snap some pictures of all of this stuff, get it up on my Depop, and um, that's what I'm going to spend most of the day doing. I see you smiling from miles away You're the girl who makes me feel this way The way you're shining on a rainy day Make the world a little better place You got the sparkle in your eyes Making all the other guys Stop and stare but you'll be moving on Baby, every time we touch Makes my heartbeat wanna rush Can't believe that I'm the lucky one You make me feel like a king Every time that we're together It has been a multiple drinks kind of day like literally I have all of the drinks I just keep going downstairs and getting more what is the time I don't know why I'm trying to guess the time I've got to watch <laughs> the time is just gone half past five and I'm counting down the minutes until I get to go to yoga tonight I believe that um Ali has some us time planned for this evening as well so when I get back from yoga we'll get to spend some lovely time together um 
today hasn't really been that like exciting however can we appreciate it is like nearly dark outside admittedly it was like the moodiest of days today but um so it's probably getting dark quite quick but yeah i um i can't believe it it's like properly getting into winter and um i've just realized that i haven't finished my to-do list that carrie sent me so <laughs> i'm gonna have to do some of that as well but i'm gonna get ready for yoga in a minute and um zen out and then come and spend some time with my boy not bad i sold all of this so that has all got to be packed up tomorrow and posted on Wednesday. But I am massively, massively running late, so I need to get changed and off to yoga. Okay, I am dressed now, although I am definitely running late because my friend Danny just knocked at the door. Um, Lumi's just woken up as well. Um, Danny dropped off some hair bits for me and um, I was just like, oh my God, I can't invite you in, I'm going to yoga. And look at these, these sprouts. I promise I'm gonna look a lot more fancy tomorrow. I've actually got places to go and people to see, but today is just not one of those days. I'm just wearing Primark leggings, um, some uh, Adidas, I think these are Adidas. Yeah, Adidas like tubular shadow trainers. Um, a cashmere knit from John Lewis Primark vest and um, All Saints biker. I got my water bottle and my card holder and some chewies and water. Oh, come on, Pippin. Oh, <laughs> these are mine and Carrie's um, yoga mats. That's my one, and that's Carrie's one. Oh, I almost forgot my phone. <laughs> oh God, 24%, that'll be enough. <laughs> God, this was not what I wanted to happen. So you might realize, that oh sugar, I nearly dropped you. <laughs> uh, you might realize that I am in Ali's car and not my car. A number of things happened as I left the house. First of all, I locked myself out of the house, but I didn't just lock myself out of the house. I locked myself out of the house with my keys on the other side of the door, which means that Ali couldn't even unlock, he couldn't even get us in if we wanted to, so we had to break in. So that made me 10 minutes late than I was supposed to be. Then I got in my car and I went to put my camera on the dashboard to have a chat with you on the way to the on the way to my yoga class and I put my hand through a cobweb. So at the moment I'm currently deciding whether I should sell my car or whether I should just burn it down completely. Um, just trying to think what the best method is to uh, combat a spider in your car. So I'm now in Ali's car because I can't drive a car with a spider in it because I'll end up having an accident. Which brings me to my next point. So I am driving to my yoga class and um, I'm in Ali's car which is a bit of a boy racer car. So I think that the guys behind me think that I must be a boy racer and I've gone to pull over into the the right hand lane to turn onto Stony to Stratford High Street and they have decided that that was their cue to overtake me and they over like so obviously they could have killed me they overtook and um, they drove onto the wrong side of the road uh, obviously weren't going that fast because they actually ended up turning into my yoga studio then I went into I took their number plate down by the way um, I then went into my yoga studio and blocked two of my cards like I was shaken up by them what they did because I literally had to like they could have ran me off the road like it was so so dangerous it was unbelievable and uh, so I was shaking and I couldn't get my head right so I'm like entering the wrong card numbers for each of the cards so I blocked both of my cards by which point the class is 10 minutes in it's such a shame when you schedule only an hour like for your well-being a week and the thing is, is I actually wanted to talk to you like I had some really important things to say about like yoga and its role in my life um and I just don't feel in the best of of places to talk about that right now so I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to maybe have a little bit of a cry and um, if I feel like it I'll talk to you later if not I'll talk to you tomorrow because tomorrow's a new day and um, just because I had a bad end to my day today it doesn't mean that I have to have a bad week and it's okay for things to go wrong and for things not to go how you planned and I'm just trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> so to celebrate Lydia hitting 500K, I decided to buy 
a load of candles. <laughs> and right, 500k, because you do like candles. She also likes food and Lumi. So you're in heaven right now. And you, I like you too. Thank you. <laughs> Wensleydale cheese with cranberry, Bosch. My favourite. Your favourite? So we've got movie night on a Monday, which is so rare for us. I'm not going to lie, we normally work, don't we? Yeah. So this is going to be nice. We're so hidden figures. It's going to matter to their wives, to their children. I believe it's going to matter to the whole damn country. <laughs> Where did she get those from? <laughs> They're going to be going one at a time. <laughs> Today is the day of my Elemis meetup, so um, I've been stressing all morning about what to wear. I have days like that all the time when I'm like, literally, what do I wear today? Um, I've decided on an All Saints dress and I've wrecked the house in the process. I've got my clue swatch on and I'm about to, to leave. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing at the moment. Please excuse my house, but this is the um, All Saints dress that I'm wearing with my um, Fendi peekaboo and some Stuart Weitzman boots. So I better get going. I'm so excited, a little bit stressed and a little bit overwhelmed, but um, it's going to be a good day. I know it. I'm so excited. It's really sort of like a close-knit group of girls, so it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, whew, calm down, Lydia. <laughs> Let's go. So we're currently in the car, stuck in traffic. We have to go to pick up my veil first um, because I have my hair trial next, is it next week or the week after? It's the week after next. Week after next. Um, so we're going to pick up that now, which is exciting. And uh, then we're heading on to the house of Elemis where I'm having a massage, which I think I kind of need, especially after last night, I think that um, as much as I felt like I didn't really have time for it today, I'm gonna enjoy it when I get there. Although I really like my makeup today. Have you noticed anything different in my makeup? Yeah, it's softer. It's like more yellowy tones, isn't yeah. it? But I feel like it makes me look more alive than the other one. Like, Healthy. Yeah. I don't know. Like then my I can't really see in this car. And my hair looks really flat. But it's um yeah. I've got the rhodial skin tint on today, and I'm trying to work out whether it is definitely right for my skin tone. I feel that it makes me look a little bit more like alive when I've um, got it on, but it's uh, it does def definitely have like more warmer undertones than my usual foundation. So um, can't really see because there's a big tree in front of my head. Big but tree. Um, yeah, anyway, just rambling off on one there. Uh, but yeah, so we're heading there now. I've shown you my outfit already, but if there's a mirror there, we will go through this again because um, I felt like I was rushing. So um, I'll speak to you when I get there. <laughs> I loved mine. Champneys, I know. You might not believe it, but I have just had an hour long massage. I did admittedly leave half of my face on the bed, <laughs> but um, I was lucky enough to have a massage here at the Elemis penthouse. Have I told you where I am? I'm at the house of Elemis and that's where my meetup is today, but it's a really nice one that's only like 25 people, so it's really intimate and um, just chilled. So I'm, I'm really excited though. I've just touched up my makeup to try and make myself look a little bit more presentable again. I definitely did like doze off. This one was their de-stress one, which is supposed to be more like relaxing. And um, yeah, I definitely feel a lot more chilled. I feel like I should start every meetup with a massage before because usually I'm very much like, <laughs> but this one I feel like really chilled. Um, which is good. Do I have anything else to tell you? Probably not yet. I picked up my veil. I've had a delivery. I've had a delivery of clothes um, that I'm going to shoot hopefully for when my new blog goes live. If you don't know, my blog is LydiaEliseMillan.com and um, I've not really done a lot on there recently because I've been waiting um, to finalise my blog design. It's all going ahead now so hopefully by the end of October I should have a new blog layout up that I'll love and enjoy posting on and shooting content for. So I've got some bits from Netta Porto there and that's about it. So I will speak to you in a bit, but I'm feeling very zen. Great. Oh, I feel like with English, 
but I was very much in the gym and I needed to like have a little bit of time to myself every now and again. I've been such a huge fan of the brand, so to be able to partner up with them um, today, especially when one of their products I kind of put off using for so long and it, I was saying to the girls, I was like, last time we met I was like, no, I, I, don't, I don't want it, I don't, I don't want that product, it's fine. Now, I'm like, everyone needs this product in their life, okay, I'm sorry girls, I'm sorry I didn't take it sooner, but I've obviously fallen in love with the, the balm cleanser and it's changed the way I do my skincare. I'm now able to double cleanse like a boss. <laughs> I always used to envy girls that could double cleanse, it was just like, want to do that I want the balm and I want the cleanse and I want to do all of that stuff and I couldn't because it would always break me out and then to discover a product that doesn't doesn't affect my skin in that way from someone that's suffered with acne I obviously want to keep all of those those things at bay and it's changed my entire skincare routine in that small little tub there and it lasts forever as well that's one thing that Elemis does really well is products that last for a very very long time <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I hope that you um, enjoy this evening and I hope that you all get to like sit around and chat and you enjoy your treatments and you can tell me about them whoever is having facials on so <laughs> but thank you so much for coming everyone and um, have fun <laughs> 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 Morning everyone. Um, I got home last night and um, had a big plate of pasta that Ali had cooked for me and then went straight to bed and didn't wake up until um, until nine o'clock as Carrie was coming through the door with coffees. <laughs> I'm losing my voice as well from talking so much last night. Um, but I had such a great time. Oh my God, literally it was so nice because quite a few of the girls I've like seen at most of my meetups now. And then Jo Cannon came and I got a proof of her new book, which isn't out yet. So I'm literally gonna start that tonight. I'm gonna read a chapter every night before bed. Um, and Oh, I just had the best time, even though like, I can't really talk now. Um, I had the best time and I didn't just want to leave the vlog here because that was so nice because it was like 25 girls and, and one guy. There was one guy as well who was really lovely. Shout out to Paul. Thanks for coming. <laughs> it was so funny. He even had a facial and he like bought all of the products. He was, he was good fun. But yeah, no, it was a really nice like small group. So I got to chat to everyone. Most times at my meetup, I really worry that I don't get to like talk to everyone. Um, and 
to do just like 25 people was just great and the space was really lovely and everyone got like a pamper and um, yeah, I had a great time. So huge thank you to Elemis for letting me do that. It was amazing. And thank you to all of the lovely girls and guy that came. <laughs> it was amazing. I My fingers caught. <laughs> your legs are up here and your front legs are down here. Are you smelling your foot? Are you smelling your foot? That looks very uncomfortable. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday and I haven't showered yet and my hands have gone really brown because I had a massage yesterday and it made me all really hot. Just had a delivery, which I believe is from Carrie herself. I wonder why it says Ali Gordon on it. It's weird, isn't it? Right, this I think was supposed to be delivered yesterday. It's from Carrie. This is really silly. What do you mean, what? You but because you I always like... do those kinds of presents. Well, it's not silly, silly, but it was all because Oh, open it first. I just hope it comes out okay. So. Shut up! That is so cool! Well, because you two don't do your play fun! <laughs> so I was like, I'm giving Sorry. you a play fun! <laughs> On YouTube, you only get a button if you hit a hundred thousand, and then like uh, one million. And, and I feel like five hundred thousand is such a huge like achievement. No, everyone feels like it's a huge achievement, apart from YouTube. Especially in the UK, like in the US, loads of people hit like a million. But in the UK, we have such a smaller like. My <laughs> That's roaring. <laughs> and um, yeah, so in the UK, like there's not as many, I mean, obviously there's, there are lots of people that have hit a million, but not as many as in the US. And so this is my YouTube award for hitting 500,000 from Carrie herself. That is I totally so stole the YouTube logo and broke all copyright laws in the world, <laughs> but sod it. Oh, okay. You literally, that is like the best thing You're ever. You're welcome, chicken. You need a proper award. Oh my god, how cool is that? Still looking rather tired. Um, I it's like nine o'clock, and I've finished up for the evening. And oh my god, so tired. I need to un like I need to unpack a bag that I picked up of stuff yesterday, which I'm planning to shoot. I will also have a couple of collaborations with some of like my favorite stores coming up. So I'll be mixing in these pieces with that stuff. Uh, also might be wearing this tomorrow because tomorrow we are off to Paris with, by Terry and um, I'm going with Carrie and we're only going for the day as well. So I'm probably gonna be quite tired, um, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited to spend the day with them as well. They're honestly, the loveliest team ever. You guys know this, I always say this about them. I just love them so much. So let's delve into the bag that I've got some bits from and I will show you kind of what I'm planning on wearing tomorrow because I have to lay it out the night before. If I'm getting up that early, there I don't have time to like not know what I'm gonna wear. So I um, am gonna lay that out, have my bag packed so I can literally shower, do my makeup, do my hair and just fall into my clothes and leave. So. That is sort of my little plan when I have to get up really early. About it, so I think I will show you. I don't think I had anything else to tell you, to be honest. I had a healthy brownie earlier, it was really good. And once I've shown you this stuff, I think I'm gonna go and sit on the sofa for a little bit. You can join me if you want. Ali's down there. I think he's editing though. He did say to me, I'm gonna be working a bit late tonight on the old edit. Um, but we do usually now have like a cutoff point where he doesn't work into the evening because we acknowledged that he needed to stop doing that a little bit. Talk of the devil. Are you drinking your sloth mug? 
There it is. It's a big mug. It serves two. Perfect. It's not my mug. If you didn't offer me hot chocolate, that's so selfish. Would you like a hot chocolate? No, because you've given me half. You can never please women. It's one thing I've learned in life. <laughs> to love, but to never understand. <laughs> you can tell I've been watching wedding speeches, can't you? Um, I'm trying to upload to my Depop. God. Ali's got a Depop. Plug back. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to go and sign up to his Depop. Girls, I've got some lovely... Um, Reese men, jackets. <laughs> size 8 UK trainers. Anyway. Now that that's over, let's go downstairs and open this bag and um, then I'm going to snuggle on the sofa. The house is a bit of a mess at the moment. I think it's tidy down here though. I got. I've been eyeing up these boots for a while but I'm looking at them and I don't think that they're like knee high boots. They might be over the knee boots but I looked on the website and they looked like they were like to here, not here. So anyway. Ugh. This is a box of Victoria Beckham boots. Oh no, I think they are knee high. Oh wow. Now I've seen these in red as well. They come in like a really nice burgundy red. A little bit too red for me though. Um, oh wow. They smell good. So that's those. I got those in a size five as well. So I'm hoping that they fit. I will try them on. Oh. And then the only other thing I got, um, actually, well, I got, where are they? I have two earrings, which come in these big boxes. These are Maria Tash earrings. Um, I have the Parve diamonds, the, the five mil hoops in here. I know that people keep asking about my earrings. They're all Maria Tash, um, but I'm gonna have my studs replaced with the, um, like, I don't think, well, they're not Parve diamonds. They're like, how to explain it? These are the new ones. I don't even know if you can see them. They're like bigger, diamonds but they actually cost less than the parve ones that i've got in so these are like 200 and something i'm gonna have these studs taken out and used to pierce another hole there and then these are going to be put in in their place so i got two of them and then finally this is what i'm hoping to wear tomorrow now i saw i don't know if any of you guys um because she's not on youtube i don't think but she's one of the bloggers that i um follow and i really like her style um, I don't follow a lot of girls on like in blogging, but I do really like this girl's uh, blog and style and her name is Peony Lim and she was wearing this coat and I was like, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my God, it's even better in person. It's like satin. It's a brand that I've never bought anything from. It's from Simone Rocha and it is this khaki jacket, which has these like kind of <laughs> flaps to the side but I just thought this would look so nice with black denim and black boots and um, I'm probably gonna wear this to Paris tomorrow. I don't remember which one I put the earrings in, I don't want to throw it away. So I just did my skincare routine, I've got my lovely fig leaves pyjamas on and I'm about to read um, a chapter of my new book. This is Three Things About Elsie by Joanna Cannon and this is actually um, like it's not out yet, so I, I don't think this is the actual cover. This is kind of like a sample, I guess. Um, and I'm going to be reading a chapter a night of my book before I go to bed. I shouldn't really be reading this now because I'm up at five, but I'm going to read a quick chapter just to send me to sleep. Um, so that's the plan of action for bedtime today. I will see you in the morning for a very, very fun build, but maybe a little bit sleepy day in Paris. But yeah, sleep tight.